Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'm supposed to meet Mr. Charles Swinson at his office today, but I can't seem to find it. Could you point me in the right direction? Sure, it's down the hall on the right, but there must have been some kind of mistake. Mr. Swinson has gone to visit one of our other branches today. He won't be back in the office until tomorrow. I'd be happy to write down a message for you. Thanks, but I need him to look at some samples of our new building materials, so I must see him in person. I'll email him to set up another meeting time. Number 32. What is the man having trouble doing? Number 33. What does the woman offer to do? Number 34. Why must the man meet with Mr. Swinson? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hello, is this Mr. Kane? I'm calling about your newspaper advertisement about the car. Is it still available by any chance? Yes, it is, but I've received a number of responses. So if you have serious interest, I suggest you come by for a test drive as soon as possible. I was going to ask you about a time that I could come by to see the car in person. Are you available this weekend? I'll be here Saturday afternoon. Let's meet around 3 p.m. Number 35. Why is the woman calling Mr. Kane? Number 36. What does Mr. Kane suggest doing? Number 37. When will the speakers most likely meet? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Edwards, this is Ellen Baxter with Reliable Insurance. Thank you for coming in for an interview last week. We were very impressed and have decided to offer you the computer programmer position. That's wonderful news. I would be delighted to accept the job. My only concern is that the supplementary programming class I'm currently enrolled in doesn't finish until August, and it begins at 4 o'clock twice a week. Well, as you know, our working hours run until 5 o'clock. However, if you bring your official class schedule to my office here in Human Resources sometime this week, we can adjust your work schedule for the next month. Number 38. What is the purpose of the woman's call? Number 39. What concern does the man mention? Number 40. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Teresa. The stockroom seems to have changed a lot. Last time I looked, the sports jackets were down this row, and I thought I knew where they were, but I guess a lot of the merchandise has been moved around. You're right. We've rearranged the entire stockroom to get ready for the shipment of tuxedos that we ordered last week. It should arrive sometime today after lunch. It sounds like you've been quite busy. Anyway, I have a customer who wants to try on a black sports jacket in large. Would you mind helping me find one? Sure, I can show you right now.
Number 41. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 42. What is expected to happen this afternoon? Number 43. What does the man ask for help with? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ben. It's Diane. I was hoping for an update on the e commerce training course. Hi, Diane. Guess what? I managed to get Samuel Williamson to run a two hour presentation about online marketing for it. It was a real challenge to track him down and get him to find time in his schedule for us, but I think it was worth the effort. Wow, Ben, that's incredible. I imagine it must have taken a great deal of work to get a specialist like Samuel Williamson. Since you did all of that, why don't I talk to the head of accounting to get Mr. Williamson's speaking fee approved? That will save you some time. Number 44. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 45. What did the man have difficulty doing? Number 46. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling maintenance. This is Doug. How can I help you? Hi, Doug. This is Sasha from room 314. The air conditioner in my office isn't working today. It was fine yesterday, but this morning when I turned it on, it just made a buzzing sound. So I turned it off. Unfortunately, this is bad timing since it's so warm today. I'm sure we can help you resolve the problem. I'll need the name of the model on the air conditioning unit. It should be somewhere clearly visible near the capacity label. When I have that, I'll send a technician down at 3 o'clock to take a look. The unit is a Clean Air 3498X. I have a client visiting my office at 3, though. Would it be possible to come earlier? Number 47. What is the woman having trouble doing? Number 48. What information does the man request? Number 49. What will the woman do at 3 o'clock? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I'm here with Madison David, creator of the No Spills Plate for Very Young Children. Tell us how you got your inspiration for this product. As I watched my daughter learning to feed herself, I realized that I could make it easier for her and other children if I improved the design of the plate itself. Your sale of over 200,000 units in the first year is impressive. Why do you think this has been such a success? Mainly, I think the innovative marketing campaign we used was key. Having a useful product is not enough. You also need to make sure everyone knows about it. Number 50. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 51. Where does the woman say her inspiration came from? Number 52. According to the woman, what was a key factor in her success?
Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. So, Mr. Lowry, what do you think of the commercial property we just saw? The site is zoned for retail activities, and it has a great location. It has a modern appearance, and I like the fact that there's heavy foot traffic in the area. Actually, I'm wondering why anyone would want to sell such a great space. Well, the owner, Mr. Lynch, plans to retire and close his shop entirely. And he doesn't want to deal with the hassle of renting out the building. I see. I'm definitely interested, but I think the asking price is too much. Do you think he would be willing to lower it? Number 53. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 54. According to the woman, what does Mr. Lynch plan to do? Number 55. What problem does the man mention?